episode of Crafting with Nikki. Here we will show you how to make um, Play-Doh with just dough and water. Yes, and today, as you can see, we also went to the California Academy of Sciences. We will try to upload these soon, these, the videos from it, and you can check out it today. So, ready to begin? Yeah. Okay. All right. So, let's get started. Uh, so, you don't need that much of dough, but the thing what, that you have to be really careful about while making homemade Play-Doh is not to add too much water. You don't want to add the entire thing. I just take a very small cup and I put a little bit of water in the spoon and then I mix it up. I don't want to add too much water. So just add a little bit of water at a time. So Nikki, how do you decide how much water? Well, you start out with a little bit of water. You pour a little bit into the spoon. Oh, so and you put it in. Trial and error. You keep adding water until you get the right Until mix. you get the right mix, basically. Okay, awesome. So, yeah. So it's like this. And then the more dough. And as you can see, um, we already have a little bit. Okay, and the right more here. dough you add, the more water. The more dough you make, you put, the more water you had to put, and the more play-doh it'll make. Well, kind of like that. Because we, you have to have the proper amount of dough and water together. Okay, if you add too much water, your play-doh is going to be wet and soggy. Unless you add more dough. Yeah. Okay. And you don't want to waste dough. So right. you add tiny bit of water by water. And then you get your shape. Okay, so... I'm so going to take a little bit of So now... Yes, yeah, so now you have to show... So you were putting in the dough, then you were scooping the water. So did you put in enough water yet? Um, I think it's ready. Okay. But you always want to try to get out the dough from maybe the sides of the bowl, if you have a bowl like I do. To get the most out of your dough? Um, no, to make sure you don't have too little water and you don't have too much water. And you have to pay attention, because this is going to be sticky. When you first do it, you're going to need to knead it. Yes, but then of course, you just keep kneading it, and then eventually it'll be fine, won't it? And now we got Play-Doh. Yay. So, can I feel it? Wow, this is sticky and wet. Okay, so that's how to make homemade Play-Doh. And it gets oh, better and, as you need it. And Nikki, so how do you make Play-Doh in different oh, colors? Yeah. How do you make Play-Doh in different colors? Well, um, I guess the main way is, as you're adding the water and when you're mixing it, add food coloring. Okay. Oh yeah, and pay attention, this only lasts for a few days. So after a few days, it'll... It'll get mold on it and moss. What if you put it in a Play-Doh box? Mm, it's going to grow moss all over the Play-Doh box. Because this isn't really like Play-Doh, but it can stay like Play-Doh for a couple of days. So and then it's basically a cheap one-time use alternative to Play-Doh. Yeah. Right? And your main and the main thing is what I have I have to say, never put this in a small container. If you have a really nice design container, because I made this mistake when I was four and my dad taught me how to do this. I accidentally put my homemade Play-Doh in a container that I really liked and I got for my birthday and it was really pretty. Um, and then it grew mold all over, all over it, so I had to throw it out. Uh, did you get a new one? I made a new one. Uh, I mean, no, did you get a new like cup? The container. Right, so now I know that the best way to do this is putting it in a Ziploc bag. It's the best way. So yeah, you have many, because you don't get packs of one Ziploc bag, and it's not expensive or anything. So just put your Play-Doh in the bag, and now it's not sticky anymore. Nice Play-Doh. Okay. Oh, by the way, that, that is my brother. He's saying, you want to see yeah, Play-Doh? Yeah, advice from Crafting with Nikki. And of course, we'll be back for my videos. Hey, Nikki, 
How do you think we show the viewers a video about how to make colored homemade Play-Doh? Well, I don't think we really need it. You just need to put the food coloring in while you're mixing the water and dough. Okay, okay, and uh, what's our next video gonna be? I'm actually not sure, but I'll post it next week. Next week? Yeah. Not this weekend? Not this weekend. Or maybe this weekend, okay. So this is Sid Ray Nikki from Crafting with Nikki. And um, we'll post more videos later, along with our trip to the, Acad the California Academy of Sciences. Keep watching the comment section on this video.